In today's video, I want to go over the Bloody Harvest rewards and what you earn from them. I am currently at 15 of 15. I've completed every single one of the challenges. And I just want to show you what all these rewards are so you can make a decision if you want to uh, quickly grind for these or if you want to take your time with them. I actually will say I like these rewards. I think they're actually pretty cool. So let's get right into it. So if four challenges completed, you're going to unlock the weapon tree against Sunken and Dead. And I'm going to show you this to you real quick. And as you see, it's the little zombie right in here. It's actually a pretty cool weapon tree. It's actually a lot bigger than the other ones. It's kind of noticeable in first person. Like, you can kind of see it a lot more than the other ones. But So that, that makes it pretty cool. Plus, I just like the little zombie theme itself. So, But anyway... The next reward you're going to unlock is the Echo device, the Heco 3, what a, what a lovely name. Um, but what this looks like, it's this one right here, it just has Bloody Harvest written on it. It's just a nice little Echo. Uh, these really don't matter much to a lot of people, but maybe maybe you specifically want it, but I don't know, it's nice. I'm using it just because of the event going on right now. The next is the skin for all the characters uh, if spooks could kill, which this is really cool because once you unlock all these things, it's for every character. You don't have to do this event on all uh, four characters or if you have more than four, just you only have to do it one time. So you probably have already seen the skin in Amara, but I'm going to show you for the detail right here. Um, this is what the skin looks like on her. It's actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. Especially, uh, it pairs real well with some of her heads, but this is just her, you know, base head, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, I'm actually going to show you the other characters real quick. Alright, so this is what the skin looks like on Zane. It's a pretty nice skin. I think it looks a little better on Amara. But, it's not that bad. I, I, I don't think I'll be using it on my Zane. But yeah, it looks, it looks alright. Alright, so this is what it looks like on Moe's. I actually really like it on Moe's. I think this is a pretty, pretty cool skin for her. Actually, I'll probably be rocking this when I play her. Uh, all the pink little details and stuff. Actually, yeah, I actually really like this. This is a nice, this is a very nice skin on most. All right, and finally we have the skin on Flack. Uh, it's it's eh, on Flack. It's okay. It gives them a little red eye. I kind of like that. It reminds like of a Vex from Destiny if you play Destiny. Um, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool skin. Uh, it's it looks better on the other characters I think, but yeah, it's not it's not too bad. Alright, so the final reward that you can unlock, uh, this is for completing all 15 of the challenges, and that is the Weapon Scan Ghoul Metal Gray. This, this is the big one, this is what everybody's trying to get, this is what you're going to be grinding for, especially those boss kills. And this is the reward for it. I actually really like this skin. Uh, it makes like little like ghosts and ghouls I guess appear on the weapon, it pairs real well with the weapon trinket obviously. Um, and it's like it's animated and they just go across your gun. It's a I, I, I like the nice color palette on it as well to be honest Um, I can see if some people might not like it, but I actually I actually really enjoy it Um, this is what it looks like on some other guns. It's pretty cool And the Lyuda right here Now again, you have until December 5th to complete all of these challenges don't act like you have to rush through it This is I was just kind of showing you everything off if you want to go on and try to get everything done with it because these rewards are actually pretty cool. Uh, I actually probably will be running these for a little bit. Probably exclusively through the event. Unless something new comes out. Which I know they're like well, not rumored. I know there are uh, new heads coming out soon. I don't really know what. But some of the other content creators have been talking about it. Um, yeah there's actually like one more thing that you get with the event. Is these two other heads. You don't have to earn these. I'm pretty sure that you just get them for free. You get skulls and domes which is pretty cool. And then you get tuned and doomed, which is just, it could, it's just crazy. Like, why? Like, you literally just have a TV on your head, but I like it. Other than that, there's really not much else you can earn for the event other than the new legendaries. And that is what every, I'm going to be trying to get now. And I'm just going to be farming for the new legendaries. I already have a couple, but um, I haven't gotten every single one of them yet. But yeah, and also the last thing you can do is I'm going to start trying to do builds with these, uh, you know, haunts and terrors and stuff, these anointed items. Uh, so you can expect to see videos from uh, soon about those if I found some, like, really cool stuff. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much this event has to offer. If you're into cosmetics and stuff and, you know, specific items for events, you're probably not going to be able to get these, like, after the event goes away, after December 5th, until maybe next year. 
So if you want to, you know, be cool and have something that other people don't, I would uh, highly recommend doing this for the event ends. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.